So in this video, you'll learn how to set up the Google Assistant on your Samsung Galaxy S25. So the first step is to open the Google app on your phone. Then from here, you want to tap on your profile icon in the top right corner and then select settings. Under settings, tap on Google Assistant. Then you want to look for Hey Google and Voice Match in the list of available settings for you and then select it. Once you've selected it, you should see the option Hey Google and the option under Google to turn it on. So just tap on the toggle like that and it will be enabled. If you have Google Assistant enabled on another Android device with the exact same Google account, then you won't need to go through the process of setting it up. It will just use the voice match from the previous device. However, if this is a new, this is a different account, then you'll need to set it up using your voice match. And to do that, you need to agree to all of this information that you're reading on your screen. And then once you've done, just say the key phrases. So ex for example, hey Google, help me write a thank you note. Hey Google, what's the weather tomorrow? Okay Google, explain how a rainbow is formed. Okay Google, set a timer for five minutes. And then once you've said the phrases, the voice match will be added onto your device and Hey Google or the Google Assistant will be ready for you to use. So just tap on next. And then you can choose to add more audio to improve the voice match. So you can choose to tap on start saving audio or you can select not now and do that later if you desire. So from here, you can now start using the Google Assistant on your Galaxy S25. So if you have any small tasks that you want performed or you want to ask it information, you just need to say the key phrase, hey Google. So let's say we want to set an alarm for 3 a.m. for a flight. All we need to do is simply say, hey Google, set a 3 a.m. alarm for a flight to Toronto tomorrow. And then wait for it to create. Okay, your alarm labeled flight to Toronto is set for 3 a.m. tomorrow. And then your alarm has been created. You can always choose to open the clock app just to double check that the alarm is actually listed right there. And you can see flight to Toronto, 3 a.m. set for tomorrow. The alarm has been successfully created. So if you have any other bit of information or small task you wanted to do, you can just say the key phrase, hey Google, and you can start using the feature. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.